Hey guys, uh, this is Rahul from Way to Automation. So in this lecture, we're gonna explore this aluminium AI. So what exactly is uh, this uh, aluminium? So aluminium is an experimental open source framework. Uh, and this is designed to introduce AI powered automation into uh, browsers and uh, mobile test frameworks. And it can be easily integrated with existing frameworks like Selenium, uh, Playwright, and APM for mobile automation. So if we if we talk about technically how this uh, aluminium works, it actually constructs an accessibility tree of the UI and sends a compact representation to a configured AI model like Gemini, like uh, chat GPT, and then uh, these AI model determines uh, the next interaction or verification and aluminium executes it uh, on your browser or on the app. So let's say for instance, if you are using Selenium automation framework and if you're automating, uh, uh, let's say a registration form and uh, some of the elements you are not able to handle it uh, using Selenium or the locators are a little tricky. So you can take a use of this uh, AI model and you simply uh, need to write in plain English, okay, uh, like type in this input box, enter the enter into the name field and uh, the interaction will actually gonna happen on the browser. And this will uh, happen when you are running your Selenium test or the Playwright test, right? On the runtime, all the interact you can integrate this AI model and uh, perform action on your UI. So this aluminium is uh, still in an experimental stage. It is at a very early stage. Uh, but I really wanted to do a small POC on the same, so I tried using it. And uh, you can study more on this, uh, clicking on get started, and you can see uh, the overview how uh, this project was actually originated and see uh, aluminium wraps and APM Playwright or Selenium instance. Right, so you can just go through this theory part and uh, the installation is pretty straightforward. Right now it works for uh, Python. So what you need to do, you simply need to uh, say pip install and install this particular library. So you can simply copy this, go to your PyCharm and let me close all this. And what you can do, go to terminal and simply paste pip install aluminium. I've already installed it, so it's not gonna uh, reinstall it. So already satisfied, right? You need to make sure that uh, you have latest uh, Python version and uh, latest uh, pip version. So you can check my Python hyphen hyphen version over here. It must be uh, at least above 3.11 and uh, you should not be using 3.9 uh, uh, or below that because it's uh, it's not gonna support on that, right? And similar to that, you can even check the pip version. So it shows 25.1.1, uh, right? Which is the latest as of today. So after we did pip install uh, aluminium, it's actually uh, have installed this library. And during the installation, you're gonna see uh, a lot of things uh, getting installed from Langchain, Mistral AI, from all your AI models, your hugging face, see a lot of things are there. So installation will gonna take at least a few seconds when you are installing it for the very first time and it installs all the uh, LLM uh, model frameworks over here related to Google AI, uh, the Gemini one related to your open AI for chat APD, right? And even uh, like the libraries from Selenium, from Playwright, uh, from APM. So it, it installs all these things. So it's, it's going to take uh, a little while when you are installing it for the very first time. So once the installation part is done, the code writing is very simple. You can use it with your Selenium framework. You can use it with your uh, Playwright framework. So what you need to do, you first need to say from 
एल्यूमिनियम इम्पोर्ट एल्यूमिनी सो दिस इज द लाइब्रेरी यू नीड टू एड सो इन दिस लेक्चर आल बी यूजिंग सेलेनियम आल से इम्पोर्ट वेब ड्राइवर एंड देन आल से ड्राइवर इक्वल टू वेब ड्राइवर डॉट क्रोम and then i'll be initializing this aluminium i'll say al equal to alumini and then we'll be passing on the driver over here so whichever you, if you're using playwright you need to pass on the playwright driver if you're using chrome then you need to a uh, web driver then you need to pass on your web driver driver over here right so that's the only thing once you do this your alumini um get uh, initialized and uh, the other thing what you need to do is You need to provide your LLM uh, API key if you are using uh, OpenAI, uh, ChatGPT, or if you are using Gemini. So in this example, I'll be using Gemini because that's uh, uh, like that's completely free of cost right now. Uh, there is no you need not to pay anything to use uh, uh, one of the Gemini uh, AI model which I'll be using. But if we talk about others, uh, you um, may have to take license in order to use their API keys. So you need to get the API key and need to add them in your environment variable. So you can do it from here. Just uh, go to your settings and your PyCharm, and uh, not in the settings. You need to go to Run, Edit Configuration, and here you see Environment Variables. so you need to uh, click over here and you need to add aluminium model as google since i'll be using the google gemini and here you need to uh, add another uh, variable named it as google api key and provide your api key over here right so this api key how you going to get it so you need to go to your uh, google ai studio so say google AI Studio, and you need to generate this API key from here. So, log in with your account, click on Get API Key, and you can generate your API key from here. Right? Simply click on Create API Key, and you can create a uh, free API key of yours. And the same API key you need to provide it over here. Once you do this, uh, your initial setup for Alumni, Alumni is uh, complete. and now uh, you can simply start writing your selenium code or the playwright code and can integrate uh, the ai part as well in it so let's say i navigate to one of the website uh, i'll be navigating to so this is one of the test automation practice website so i'll going to navigate to this website and here i'll be i'll try to fill up these information uh, without using the selenium uh, locators and the selenium code so i'll be using this uh, almuni ai for for the same so first i'll going to maximize this window driver dot maximize window and then i'll say al dot do so if you want uh, this aluminium to do any task on the ui so what you can say you'll say enter name as rahul arora right so let's try to execute this first so we need to make sure that uh, i have not provided any locator i'm just saying that enter the name as rahul arora and let's see if it enters the name over here or not i'll simply add one time dot sleep uh intentionally for 5 seconds so that i want it should not be immediately uh terminated after the execution so uh let me run this uh i'll simply going to click on the run button over here so now it launches a browser it uh, navigated to uh, the web page now uh for the very first time it actually going to takes uh, some time uh, to gather all the data so you can see it has not yet uh, hit that element but in the background it is actually doing its task 
so since it's in the initial uh, stage so it might be a little slow but you can see it has uh, correctly entered the name as rahul arora over here right and see perfect without using any locator i just uh, mentioned that enter name as uh, rahul arora and it actually worked right now let us add some more steps so i'll say al dot do enter phone as i'll enter some phone number and what all other fields are there so email country will try to select some country as well so i'll say al dot do enter email as trainer pathway to automation dot com then l dot do select country as let's say i want to select iceland and let's do up till this much and see if all the ac uh, actions are correctly performed or not So let's wait. So this is the only thing uh, that I, I didn't like is that we have to wait a lot of time uh, for the action to be performed. But I think that uh, as the time passes, as there are more enhancement done in the project, so this thing uh, may be figured out. And then let's see, now it enters uh, the phone number or not, let's see. See, it has entered uh, the information at the correct element. Now for the email. perfect right so how come it knows that uh, where it has to enter the information we have not provided any locator we just mentioned that in the name field you need to enter this phone field you need to enter. so this is what ai is right and now uh, let's see if it selects the country as well so right now india is selected and see it has opened up the drop down and let's see if it selects Iceland and perfect right so all these things are successfully uh, like done with the help of aluminium uh, AI right and we can do a little validations as well if I want to uh, do some assertion like I'll say AI dot AL dot check and I want to check whether the title of the page contains welcome so if you check over here the title of this page contains welcome so i'll add some incorrect uh, like name over here so let's say selenium title of the page contains selenium so now it should uh, break over here if the assertion fails let's say if it validates the assertion if it performs the assertion check or not successfully so let's see because assertions are very important in any any test framework and you can see assertion error the title of the web page is welcome to the test site 
this does not contain the word selenium so perfectly so we can do validations as well right so this is what your aluminium ai is and uh, you can try exploring more things so you can see uh, the configuration part what all models it actually supports so it supports uh, your cloud gemini chat gpt and then deep seek mistral llama so all these things you just need to provide your model name and the api key in your environment variables and then you can get started by uh, writing the very first test like this so right now it is supported in uh, python but uh, maybe in upcoming uh, you may see or may not see new languages added to it but right now i mean it is supported for python and uh, you can see you can set it up for selenium and same thing you can use for uh, the playwright as well so you just need to pass your page reference to almuni and then same way like we did for selenium you can use it for playwright as well right and these are all the actions supported you can click an element drag on to another element drag and drop hover to an element keyboard keys right uh, handling the drop downs swiping uh, only on mobile applications so mobile applications uh, i'm not sure if it is fully operational uh, right now but you can uh, anyways uh, take a look at this documentation and the other uh, test available on their github page and see uh, this is this is their github page so you can check for more available test over here and uh, see what all things that can be handled right this is xcuit accessibility test so this is specifically for ios so i've, re I've read somewhere that android is currently not supported but it this is very initial phase of this project so hopefully uh, in coming weeks more things will be added to this project right so there's just a small overview of uh, how ai uh, can be integrated with your existing uh, frameworks using this uh, aluminium project so this, they've kept the name similar to uh, selenium this is al aluminium right so that's all uh, in this uh, lecture. I hope you have enjoyed it. Try configuring it at your end. All right. So thank you.